IVF treatment step by step. IVF treatment normally starts on the second or third day of your periods. So once your periods arrive, you have to schedule an appointment with us. Once you come to the clinic, I will be doing an ultrasound to make sure everything is fine with your uterus and ovaries and you are fit to start the treatment. You will be prescribed a series of injections which you will need to take over 8 to 10 days. The purpose of these injections is to make many eggs grow. Normally the ovaries make one egg in each cycle, but when we give you these injections, you are able to make 8 to 10 eggs and sometimes even more depending upon the capability of your ovaries. During this time period, I will also be doing a series of ultrasounds to see how the eggs are responding and how well they are growing in the ovaries. At the end of 8 to 10 days, once all your eggs are ready, you are ready for your process of egg collection. The process of egg collection is done in the hospital where you will be given general anesthesia to ensure that you do not feel any pain during this process. So general anesthesia is a very short duration anesthesia where you will just be given one injection from the dorsum of your hand and you will be completely unconscious for the process. I will be putting in a needle from below to take out all your eggs. Once the process of egg collection is over and you have recovered completely from the effects of anesthesia, which normally takes two to three hours, you will be allowed to go home. The eggs which have been collected from your body are fertilized with your husband's sperm. The eggs and the sperm are mixed together in a petri dish and each egg is fertilized on its own by one of husband's sperm. Because the process of fertilization takes place outside the body, this process is called test tube baby or in vitro fertilization. These embryos which have been formed in our laboratory are allowed to grow for two, three, four, five days, depending upon how well they are growing. Once the embryos have reached the desired duration, the better embryos, one or two are selected and they are transferred into your uterus in the hospital. So the process of embryo transfer is completely painless process and it just feels like going for an ultrasound. Once these embryos have been transferred safely back into your uterus, you are allowed to go back home. If we have any surplus embryos, we will be freezing them for a future cycle or a future baby. Once you have reached home, after the process of embryo transfer, you are allowed to get on with your normal day-to-day -day activities. There is no need for any kind of complete bed rest. But it is advised that you refrain from hectic activity like jogging, aerobics or lifting heavy objects. Just look after yourself as you would do if you were pregnant. At the end of 9 to 12 days after the process of embryo transfer, you will be ready for your blood test to determine whether we have been successful. Hopefully your result will be positive. All the very best.